My name is Kevin Smythe. Uh, I'm originally from New Jersey. Uh, I've been living in Florida for about six years now. Uh, I have a full-time job outside of fitness, but my love for fitness and being involved in sports when I was younger is really what drove me to get involved in fitness and contact Joe and take his NASM course. Uh, wouldn't be where I'm at today without having taken the NASM course, so that was huge. Currently, I have a few private clients and I'm also doing an internship at Barwis in Deerfield Beach, which I've gotten the most incredible experience from. I don't think I'd be as confident in my knowledge, have learned as much as I have, aside from what Joe has taught me through the course, um, if I hadn't been there working with, the, with the, their clients, their athletes, their neurological reengineering program, everything that they have to offer. So what, what had me fall in love with fitness is the fact that I was always involved in sports when I was younger. You know, whether it was hockey, baseball, then it became hockey all the time, working out at the gym, hockey. Once I got a little bit older and had to enter into the real life, adult life, I kind of got away from all that. And I, admit, I noticed that something was missing. So whether it was hockey or just being in the gym, I needed something. And then I realized that like, I'm actually in love with fitness in general. You know, whether it be a sport, or whether it be uh, certain movements that I'm doing and lifting weights and, and just, you know, overall learning how I can move better, be stronger, you know, feel better, uh, be healthier. What recently got me moving in the direction to pursue fitness as a full-time job was the fact that, you know, a lot of people were coming up to me in the gym, my friends, family, saying like, why don't you do this as your career? I began to think to myself, like, why am I not doing this as a career? And then I just wanted to get more involved, so I wanted to learn more. I found Joe's NASM course, which gave me the tools I needed to begin. Now I have been referred by him to start an internship at Barwis, uh, which is in Deerfield Beach. It's amazing. And at first I was a little bit skeptical because I know that they work with athletes and, you know, groups of kids, but they also have a neurological reengineering program. Once I got in there and the first day I saw a very high profile NFL athlete, I was like, wow, okay, this is really cool. Began working with professional football players, currently working with professional NHL ice hockey players. Um, we have a couple NBA players in their offseason right now we're doing correctives with. So Barwis has has given me uh, like a comprehensive coaching experience and it's had me find my voice, which is what I struggled with at first. It's just, there's a, a the spectrum of experience that I've gotten there. The clientele that I'm training with the most, the clientele that I'm most excited to train with, I don't really have a preference right now at the moment. I kind of love them all. They're kind of, they're great. At Barwis, I'm given one-on-one -on -one time with professional athletes, whether they have an injury and we're kind of working around that, or whether it's four NHL hockey players that are kind of going through the same routine, I'm given their program for the day and I have them run through it and I give them that structure of their workout. You're going here to here, you know, we're moving, giving them energy, giving them coaching cues. Uh, I also work with a couple friends of mine, you know, just to start because time is limited because I still have a full-time job. I work with a couple friends of mine that just reached out to me and they want to get more, more in shape. How, Kevin, help me. How can I get better? How can I lose a little bit of weight? How can I gain some, some muscle? some strength, balance has been a big thing actually. So I began working with them and what I've learned through Joe's program and through Barwis is a different type of training. It's, I, it's, I love it, it's just kind of like a beautiful thing. So they know me for being loud, being energetic and moving them, okay? And, and it's not in a bad way at all, but if you're with me and we have an hour, we're moving. You know, we're getting work done. You're gonna leave that gym, you're gonna hate me, but you're gonna love me at the same time, you know? And you're probably gonna be a little wet. Whether it's 20 kids, whether it's three people, one person, I'm in their ear, I'm loud, I'm getting them moving, I'm getting them motivated, I'm joking around, I'm smiling, I'm getting them to laugh. So it's about fun at the same time. You wanna get the work done, but they gotta be having fun, they gotta be enjoying it, otherwise they're not gonna wanna come back. It's kinda of something I've learned as I've gone, you know? I had to do like trial and error on, on a couple different like methods, if you will, and yeah, I'm the loud guy, I'm the energetic guy. I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to joke around and smile, I wanna keep it fun, but if you're with me, you're gonna be moving. So I do have a full-time job currently outside of fitness, and I knew that there was gonna be a transition period. Uh, I knew that it wasn't just gonna be snap my fingers, I'm a, I'm a fitness trainer for 15 clients and life's great. I had to find that balance. So I, I made a schedule with the Barwis internship where it worked so that I could go there three, four days a week. I try to balance it as best as I can. A little, sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming, but you know, it's what I want to do. So it's not like I'm forcing myself or I'm like, oh, I got to go yet. No, it's like, 
all right, I'm done with this. Let's go here, you know? You ready to go? Let's go. Anything fitness related that's in my day is the best part of my day. Whether it's me, with clients, with a group, it doesn't matter. So my advice to anyone that's looking to make a transition into fitness from having a full-time job outside of that industry would be to find, whether it's an internship or just a, a facility that's gonna work with you and work with the hours that you have available because obviously you need to pay for your life, you need money to be coming in. There's always more learning to do. And that's what I realized once I got the certification I started the internship, I needed to learn more. I needed to get that confidence. I needed to be able to build programs. So it took a little bit of learning. It took a little bit of trial and error. As time went on, I got my confidence up. So I still work full time. I work 40 plus hours, but I'm able to do three or four days, full days of internship hours at the facility and train clients on the side. It's just communication, balance, getting enough sleep, taking care of myself and trusting this process because now I have offers, I have more things on the horizon that are coming and I'm planning my graceful exit from the, the job that's not in the fitness industry to now begin one full time in it. It's just trust the process, get someone to mentor you, learn more uh, as much as you can. Just, just jump in and find the balance. Okay, one word to describe my, that's two. It's two words to describe my training style is aggressively fun. As a client, you're coming to a trainer because you wanna do something different, or you wanna learn more, you're not getting out of your workouts what you wanna be getting out of them. So my job is to push you. It's to teach you, coach you, critique, show you technique, but to push you beyond what you think you're capable of doing so you're getting more out of your workouts than you would by yourself. I still remember walking into my internship at Barwis on a couple separate specific days where professional athletes that are leaving to go to their camp with their team come up to me, give me a hug, say thank you. Um, one has left a note for me, just specifically for me, which is amazing. I mean, I'm an intern, they got trainers there, and these guys are specifically coming up to me, and that's, that was amazing, Get, you know, getting that recognition from these people. Um, that I respect and I look up to and I've seen on TV and you know, it's just, uh, it's amazing. So, okay, so anyone that wants to connect with me can find me at, on Instagram, at Kevin Smythe, K-E-V-I-N-S-M-Y-T-H. And that's my personal Instagram, which I am connecting with clients uh, through. Please feel free to reach out to me for any questions. Uh, if you want to work with me, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, feel free.